Mic drop gospel. If your scriptures ain't what the Levites had, then all you got are Greek philosopher corruptions. Lie number one. The oldest manuscripts are the most reliable manuscripts. That ain't what God said. The Almighty God says this in Deuteronomy 17, 18. And it shall be when he sitteth upon the throne of his kingdom that he shall write him a copy of this law in a book out of that which is before the priests, the Levites. King Jeroboam cast the Levites out of Samaria and they went down to Judah to serve in the temple in Jerusalem, making them Jews. Just like Jacob prophesied on his deathbed. 2 Chronicles 11, 14, Genesis 49, 5 through 7. The Holy Ghost spake to the apostles, and this is what was written in the scriptures in Romans 3, 1 and 2. What advantage then have the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Therefore, the Holy Scriptures settled in heaven and written down here on earth are only what the Levite priests had and no other. Lie number two. Six men from the twelve tribes of the children of Israel went down to Alexandria, Egypt in 285 B.C and wrote the Hebrew scriptures in Greek. That's impossible. In 745 BC, the Assyrian king Paul, Telechlesa III, carried three tribes of the children of Israel, Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh, away captive and placed them in Hala, Hobah, and Hara by the river Gozen. 1 Chronicles 5.26 In 722 BC, the Assyrian king Shalamaneser besieged Samaria, but he died. King Shalamaneser's son, Sargon II, finally took Samaria at the end of three years, and he captured the remaining seven tribes of the children of Israel and placed them in Hala, Harbar, and Hara by the river Gozen. 2 Kings 18, 9-11. Then, in 612 BC, the Babylonian general Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the Assyrian capital Nineveh as it was prophesied. Nahum 3 7, Zephaniah 2 13. The ten tribes of Israel scattered then and were lost and have been lost from 612 BC until this very day. Therefore, it is impossible for six men from the 12 tribes of the children of Israel to go down to Alexandria, Egypt and write anything, let alone the LXX Greek Septuagint with the Apocrypha in 285 BC, when 10 tribes have been lost since 612 BC, 327 years before the bogus 285 BC date, and still are lost to this very day in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ prayed that folks would believe on him through the apostles' word, John 17, 20. But too many people don't believe the apostles' word, especially when they warned the church that Jesus Christ built that philosophers with their vain deceit, lies, and rudiments of the world oh, this manuscript make them reliable would spoil them, destroy the doctrine through philosophy. But God's written scriptures are what the Levite priests had in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 17, 18, Deuteronomy 31, 9, 
24 to 26, 2 Chronicles 34, 13, and the New Testament, Acts 436, Acts 6, 7, Acts 13, 1 through 3, and 49, and Galatians 4, 10. That's God's Word. Repent and believe the Gospel. Amen and amen. You hear that?